parallel structure, and ellipsis. In a sentence, we may present a series of words, phrases, or clauses. Each item in a series should have the same grammatical form, or parallel structure. Parallel structure makes it easier for a reader to understand the text. We often use parallel structure when we combine a series of nouns, verbs, or adjectives with the conjunction and. Look at the sentence below. This sentence has a series of ideas combined with and. However, it is not parallel. The series has two nouns. The third item in the series is a clause. How can we change this clause into a noun to make the series parallel? If we use the noun intelligence in place of the clause, this sentence has parallel structure. It now has a series of three nouns combined with and. This makes the meaning of the sentence clear. We can use parallel structure with a series of phrases, such as phrases with an adjective plus a noun. This sentence is not parallel. The sentence contains a noun plus adjective clause and an adjective plus noun. How can we rewrite the sentence to have two adjective plus noun phrases? If we change employees who work hard to hard-working employees, this sentence is parallel. We are now repeating the same grammatical form. We can use parallel structure when we combine two or more clauses of the same kind. The sentence below has a noun clause followed by a noun plus adjective clause. Therefore, the clauses are not parallel. How can we change the second idea to a noun clause? We can replace noun plus adjective clause with the noun clause where they can get help. The sentence now has two parallel clauses combined with and. Parallel structure and ellipsis. When we use parallel structure, we often remove words that are repeated in a phrase or sentence. This is called ellipsis. We often use ellipsis with modal verbs, such as can, could, and should. We also use ellipsis with auxiliary verbs, especially when we use the present continuous, the past continuous, and the present perfect. Auxiliary verbs include forms of have and is. We often use ellipsis to avoid repeating the same modal verb. Look at this example. What can we remove from this sentence? In the sentence with ellipsis, we use the modal verb can one time. This is because can modifies all three main verbs, reduce, save, and create. It is not necessary to repeat it because all three verbs have the same subject and are the same tense. We can also use ellipsis to avoid repeating the same auxiliary or helping verb. Look at this example with the present perfect. What can we remove from this sentence? Here we can leave out the second have, since both main verbs have the same subject and are the same tense. Read the sentence. How can we use ellipsis to avoid repeating the same verb? Countries should work together and look for ways to protect sea creatures from garbage in the ocean. Many factories are emitting pollution and causing damage to the environment. The city has developed and implemented a brand new recycling program for the community.